What's up guys, it's the captain and I'm showing you some domination on the map Bakara and I wanted to talk about why I didn't really upload anything last week because I was kind of gone and yeah the reason for that is I was way too busy and you must be wondering why were you so busy? Well, um, I had this project going on, it was, it's called Project Possible and that project was absolutely awesome, it took a lot of time to, you know, I couldn't do anything else but it was really awesome, so I want to talk, take this time out and just talk about the project, explain you what it is and tell some cool stories that I uh, experienced last week because, you know, I really enjoyed it. So, Project Possible is basically a huge exchange from all countries in Europe. So, uh, we had Norway, we had Turkey, we had Spain and we had Germany. And, uh, yeah, I think that that's basically it. Yeah, it is. Well, anyway. We had those people and we divided all those people under different uh, Dutch uh, students so you know so they could leave it so they could live at our place and experience Holland and experience our school and everything so that was really cool so at the first day we just had to get to know each other and everything so we were sitting at some friend's house and you know talking a lot with the entire group we had like I guess 30 people in total something like that a pretty big group actually so um, yeah the, the first few days were, were kind of basic just regular school thingies not really interesting but the days after that were really funny so the first thing where I really wanted to talk about it was um, we had this international food night like um, every 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 country brought was bringing a spe specific kind of food with them and you know we put them all together and we could choose whatever we wanted so we have like all kinds of food from different countries and it was really cool so the Turkish people brought some very sweet stuff and the Norwegian people brought like brown cheese it tasted like caramel it was very weird but it was kind of nice and um no, it was a great night and <laughs> one funny thing was, um, you know, the Norwegian people brought like snaps, snaps or whatever you want to call it, but um, it was like this drink and I was like, hmm, it's probably it's something like wine, the same per percentage as wine percentage. So I was like, mm, you know, I'm going to try it with my buddies, I'm going to try it. So, <laughs> um, you know, I picked it up and I was like, Oh god, it's 45% <laughs> and I was like, okay, I'm gonna fill the wool wine glass and drink it anyway. And the Norwegian people were like, oh my god, what are you doing? What are you doing? You're crazy. So that was, that was kind of funny and like one of my friends was doing the same thing and he had to do a presentation the same night. So after we drank that, we had to do that presentation and he was there like standing with too much alcohol and he was like, Oh, I don't know what to say, man. I really don't know. So we were laughing our ass off that night, and it was great. Um, everybody had some nice presentations, so we laughed a lot. And some other day, we went to the Hague. It's like the. It's not the capital city of Holland, but it's it's where the government is at. So, and we went to visit the International Criminal Court, which was which was very interesting. Some things were boring, but we got a nice presentation. It was very well planned, and people were great there. And uh, <laughs> like most of the people were in a suit, I didn't because I didn't have a suit. So I'm sorry, but um, it was it was interesting. So um, yeah, that was that was kind of nice. So after that, we got the uh, the chance to hang out in the Hague. And uh, you know that was nice. We we actually did uh, what we call we, what me and my friends say the hot wings challenge. So we went to Kentucky Fried Chicken, and um, yeah, basically what we did we ordered or the the biggest bucket that they had. It was 63 hot wings in one bucket with uh, three people, and we were like, we will eat everything. It's the hot wings challenge, and the hot wings will not beat us. So um, yeah, that's what we did. We ate everything, and we got so sick <laughs> it wasn't even funny my stomach hurt it so bad and the day after that you know everything hurt it and you know it was worth it i really had a great gr blah, blah, i can't talk i'm sorry but we really had a great time there so i really really enjoyed that day and um you know some other things that were going on like we 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 became real friends like um we we got to hang out like every day i guess like 15 hours a day or something maybe a little bit less sometimes a little bit less sometimes a little bit more so like 15 hours a day for an entire 
week. Nah, not really an entire week, like five days anyway. Doesn't really matter. But so, like we became real friends and it was kind of unfortunate that some of the Turkish people couldn't really speak as good English as, you know, the, the Dutch people and the Norwegian people or the German people. The German people were great. Anyway, <laughs> I was really talking about that. So we couldn't always understand the Turkish and the Spanish people because they weren't always as good as you know as good as uh, as us i'm not so trying to sound, sound arrogant but uh, the dutch people the norwegian people and the german people were just speaking better english than the turkish people and the spanish people so anyway that was one thing that was kind of unfortunate but we became real friends with the norwegian people like the guys were great i became like friends with uh, a guy, Klaus, <laughs> his name was Klaus, anyway, he, he was a gamer, so we became friends, not like because he was a gamer, but anyway, we're doing game battles right now, so it's, it's great, and, um, like, I became, became real friends with him, and he wants to come back to Holland and hang out with me and the rest of the group, and I really want to come there to, Nor to Norway and visit them, because it was such a great time, and I really wanted to see the Norwegian people again. That's how great it was. We became like real friends, and it's kind of hard to get, to keep contact with each other because you live in, because, <laughs> because you live in different countries. But, um, like, we had a great time, we became friends, there was some romance going on, if you know what I mean, I guess that the, some people that will watch this know what I mean, but, uh, like, <laughs> my friend, he, he like one of the Norwegian girls and one of my friends like really liked each other and that Norwegian girl had a fr had a boyfriend and my friend was like no I will not kiss her and but they really started to like each other and everything and a romance started and you know the last night was like BAM and they kissed and it was funny we were happy dancing if you know what I mean <laughs> like the Mac Miller dance and then happy dancing it was hilarious I really had a great night we were happy for him we were happy ourselves and I'm still happy I'm still with my mind in the exchange that what that's why I'm kind of happy this week and like normal school normal school days I'm not really happy sometimes I'm like no god damn it I'm not happy and now I'm feeling great like it will you know, it will be less in like two weeks or something, but I'm still really happy right now because I'm still with my mind in the exchange. Um, some other things are, um, yeah, we're also trying to go to Turkey. That will be great if that's allowed so we can visit uh, the Turkish people again and see the all the uh, people from the other groups again in Turkey. So we'll have another great time over there. That will be really awesome, actually. And um, yeah, I'm just so... Uh, it was great and it was hard to say goodbye. Um, I, re I really had a great time. The girls were very cute, really um, beautiful. Uh, the guys were great. The German people were great. No, not really people. They were only girls. Not that. <laughs> I'm sorry, girls are people. If, uh, but you know what I mean. Of course. So everyone was great, and you know, I really had started to be friends with my exchange student, he was Turkish, he couldn't speak English very well, but that doesn't really matter, we still became real friends, and that's what the most important thing is, like, you can become friends without really talking about something, but what I really enjoyed the most was, like, talking with with someone, someone that really understands you and can, can go as deep as you can um, in matter of speaking on, like, philosophy and things like that, you know, the deep the deep subjects, the interesting subjects that not everyone wants to talk about and we really could do that with the Norwegian people and that's what got us, make us, made us became, become real friends so I really enjoyed it and this was a pretty nice gameplay I was playing for the entire match on a 2 bar so um, I still did pretty well, I go, I think it's 40 and 6, yeah it's 40 and 6 so it was really nice, I was playing with uh, like what you could call my subscribers and my friends, uh, they were on the same channel as I'm on. So anyway, please subscribe if you enjoyed and leave a like. And please tell me if you want to hear some more cool stories of this, because I have a lot. So I will see you guys next time. I'm out. Deuces.